Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Minecraft 1.14.3 fast with absolutely no lag. We're going to be going over everything here including showing you how to set up Optifine and all sorts of other stuff. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm even going to give you some tips in the new Minecraft launcher here as to how you can fix lag and things like that. First and foremost though we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Now if you want a Minecraft server that you and your friends can play on for a great price, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the place to go. You can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex we actually love apex so much that we host our own server on them play.breakdowncraft.com so if you are looking for the best place again to host your own minecraft server apex minecraft hosting is the place to do it it's very very easy they just give you an ip and you join the ip address it's that simple nevertheless you can again check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex now let's go ahead and stop the lag that you're experiencing in minecraft 1.14.3 so the first thing you want to do is actually start out here this is the minecraft launcher now once you're here, you want to click on installations at the top up here. Now, once you've done that, you should have an Optifine profile because you've installed Optifine. You need to get Optifine to make this tutorial work. And you can check out our in-depth tutorial on how to install Optifine in 1.14.3 at the eye at the top of your screen. That is an in-depth guide. We go over everything you need to know for Minecraft 1.14.3 and getting Optifine installed with it. So nevertheless, click on this Optifine profile, and once you're here, you can go ahead and start at resolution. Now, the lower your resolution is, the less lag you're experiencing because the less lag Minecraft will have, or the less pixels Minecraft will have to render. So I'm going to go ahead and make it 1920 by 1080. However, I would recommend you making it something like 1280 by 720. I think that's a good place to start, and then if you want to increase it over time, you can if you're not lagging. But I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 because that's going to allow you all to see what I'm doing the best. Now, then you want to go ahead and click on more options here. Now it says warning, you might not want to do this. It, you know what you're doing, it's fine. What you want to do is come here and check your JVM arguments. Now here you can change your RAM. Currently Minecraft is set up around with two gigs. You could up this to four gigs or whatever you want as long as your computer has enough RAM to support it. And if you want to see how to add RAM and like how to figure out how much RAM you have and everything like that, we do have a video at the eye at the top of your screen that will show you how to add more RAM to Minecraft. So uh, go do that because it's going to show you how to see how much RAM you need to add and things like that. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and click save. And at this point, we can go ahead and click play on our Optifine version right here on the installations tab. I love that feature. That is the best feature they have added to the Minecraft launcher, being able to hit play from the installation tab. Next thing I want is to be able to like log into the launcher to the installation tab. But at this point, I'm just rambling so we can wait to open up the uh, Minecraft main menu. Once we're on the Minecraft main menu, we actually need to get a baseline. We need to see where we're starting. We need to see exactly where we're actually starting off our FPS. That way we can know what it is at the end once we've done everything. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and transition into game here. As you can see, in game, absolutely beautiful and perfect. What we want to do is go ahead and click on multiplayer for me, and I'm going to jump on our server, play.breakdowncraft.com here, and we're going to check out what our FPS is in the brand new medieval survival world. So we're just going to be in spawn here, and we're going to see how much our FPS is, what our FPS is, all of that stuff. So loading terrain, boom, let's go ahead and press F3, and you can see our FPS up here in the top left. As you can see, we're fluctuating anywhere between 80, 90, somewhere in there. I'm looking at the first number, by the way, that's the number I'm more interested in. Drop down to 48 for a second, over 100 as it's loading in, 52, but then it recovers to about 80. I would say we're averaging about 80 FPS now, and by the way, look at how beautiful this world is. Just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. But nevertheless, we'll be back here to uh, check it out again after we've kind of made Minecraft less pretty with no shaders and stuff, but overall less laggy. So I would say about 80 FPS is our average, 100 when we're standing still. So now let's go back to the Minecraft main menu and then Let's get this rocking and rolling. So what we want to do is click on options here, and then we want to click on video settings. Now, your video settings will look completely different if you don't have Optifine. So you need to go get Optifine. We help millions of people install Optifine. We actually have an in-depth guide with it in the description of this video, as well as at the eye at the top of your screen, all that stuff. So once you're here, we want to start off with graphics, and we're just going to work down through everything. So graphics need to be fast. Render distance needs to be as low as possible. Now, a lot of people will say, you expect me to play at two render distance? Well, if you can't play at all, playing at two render distance is worse or is better than playing not at all. So yes, try two render distance. And then if you join back in game, which I'm sure you will, and you're not lagging, go ahead and up it. You know, you can up it to, to eight or whatever, but start with two, start with two and then up it from there. Smooth lighting, we're gonna turn off. Max frame rate, we actually wanna leave unlimited because that way we can see how much frame rate we've gained. Smooth lighting level needs to be off. View bobbing doesn't matter. GUI scale, technically, this right here, GUI scale one, is the best way to reduce lag. 
However, it's not going to reduce a ton of lag, and, well, you can't see that, and you need to be able to see that, so let's go ahead and make it a bit bigger there. Actually, it went too far. Hold on. Let's go back to GUI scale 3. There we go. Now, use VBOs needs to be on. Brightness doesn't really affect um, lag at all, so you can leave that wherever you want. Attack indicator doesn't matter. Dynamic lights need to be off. Dynamic FOV needs to be off, and shaders need to be off. If you haven't turned off shaders, you need to turn off your shaders pack. Shaders are incredibly laggy, so come in here and turn off your shaders pack. Click done there. Now, quality. Quality, everything in here needs to either be off or on fast. For example, MIP map levels, which we just turned off. MIP map type, doesn't actually matter, but I am going to turn it all the way down. We turned MIP map off, so it doesn't really matter, but still turning it all the way down. Androidic filtering needs to be off. Anti-aliasing off. Emissive textures need to be off. If we can reload there. Random entities need to be off. Better snow off. Better grass off. Custom fonts off. Custom colors off. Natural textures off. Connected textures need to be off as well. And then custom sky needs to be off. Custom items off. And custom GUIs need to be off. It's probably going to reload again. And custom entity models need to be off. There we go. Sorry about all that reloading. See, the reloading didn't used to happen. This is a new thing. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click done here. And then we can move on to our Quality, or sorry, we just did quality. We can move on to details. Clouds need to be off, cloud height off. Trees need to be fast. Rain and snow needs to be off, but really and truly, you can turn it fast if you like rain and snow. I personally like rain and snow. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and turn sky off. Stars off, sun and moon off. Show capes off. F uh, fog needs to be off. Fog start doesn't matter. We just turned fog off. So yeah, translucent blocks need to be fast. Hold Held item tooltips don't affect lag at all, so you can leave that on or you can turn it off if you want. Entity shadows need to be off. Dropped items needs to be on fast. Vignette needs to be on fast. Alternative blocks needs to be off. Swamp colors, turn those off. And biome blend needs to be turned off. Now we can go ahead and click done there and move over to performance. Performance is pretty easy. You would normally want to turn on smooth FPS, smooth world, and fast render. However, in this case, I'm going to leave Smooth FPS and Smooth World off. That is because I want to see the max FPS we can get. You need to turn these on after you've seen what the max FPS you can get is because I want you to post your max FPS in the description down below. But once this tutorial is over, come turn Smooth FPS and Smooth World on. Fast Render needs to be on. Fast Math needs to be on. Now, Chunk Updates, this is actually really cool. You want to leave this at 1 or change it to 1. But what this means is that it's going to load the world slower, but it's going to keep your FPS higher and when you compare that and when you pair it with dynamic updates which does need to be on it makes for a lot of fps improvement from chunk loading because now when you're standing still with dynamic updates it's going to render more chunks around you than when you're not moving render regions needs to be on lazy chunk loading needs to be on and smart animations needs to be on go ahead and click done there animations is easy come in here and click all off boom this all off button there you go Click done and now in other there's not really much we want to change except the fact you want to make sure you're not running full screen you don't want to do that and overall you can turn on show fps up here that way you can see what your fps is in game i think that's pretty cool now time you can turn time off if you want i personally i like having time in minecraft weather same thing you can turn that off if you want but i personally like to have weather on and autosave. Now, autosave is something that a lot of people say, you should turn this up as high as you can go. But the thing is, if you turn this up to 24 minutes, guess what? You could lose 24 minutes of work in Minecraft, and that's a lot of work. So I personally I like to leave it at three minutes or at max six minutes. And um, yeah, that's just that's just a big thing. Now, if you're playing on a server, it's not gonna matter. The server's taking care of saving, but this is for single player worlds. Full screen resolution doesn't need to be a thing because you don't wanna play a full screen. It's gonna lag you. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and click done here. Click done again. And then we want to make sure we have any resource packs off. You do have a resource pack selected here. Click that little arrow to switch it over. Resource packs do cause lag, and we want to keep the default book to Minecraft because that's pretty optimized. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and launch into play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, joinable by you, by tons of people. Over 50,000 people at this point have tried and played on play.breakdowncraft.com. But now we join in. Sure, it's not as pretty. Sure, we can't see as beautiful of the castle, but... Look at that first FPS number up here in the top left, 680. I suppose you guys actually can't see that, which is kind of a fail. We've got our breakdown craft overlay there, 648 FPS. If we go into F3, you'll see that it is reflected there as well. 380, 400 FPS, awesome stuff there. So yeah, absolutely incredible. Just massive FPS gains 
from Minecraft there. So yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I can't wait to see you online and uh, enjoying the server. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, again, let us know in the comment section down below. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching and I am out. Peace.